Hello, in this video we're going to look at solving for marginal profit. Marginal profit is the change in profit from producing one more unit of output. It is a derivative concept. It is the derivative of the profit function with respect to output, where pi is the profit function and q is the quantity of output. Marginal profit, or the derivative of the profit function with respect to output, is the slope of the profit function. A derivative is nothing more than a slope function. This marginal profit or slope can be negative, positive, or zero. In other words, producing one more unit of output could reduce profit, it could increase profit, or it could keep profit unchanged. Marginal profit is marginal revenue minus marginal cost, where the derivative of the revenue function with respect to output is marginal revenue. The derivative of the cost function with respect to output is marginal cost. So in words, marginal profit is nothing more than marginal revenue minus marginal cost. So if we produce one more unit of output and our revenue goes up by $10 and our cost goes up by $8, that difference, or $2, represents marginal profit. Maximum of profit occurs where marginal profit is zero, setting this derivative equal to zero. In other words, we're going to keep producing additional units of output until the last unit produced neither increases nor decreases profit. When marginal profit is zero, it means that marginal revenue will equal marginal cost. Let's do a numerical example. Here is a firm's profit function. We're going to solve for marginal profit. We're going to take the derivative of the profit function with respect to quantity. The derivative of minus 400 is 0. Uh, the derivative of 100q is just 100. The derivative of minus 1.5q squared is minus 3q. And the derivative of minus 10q is minus 10. So that is marginal profit. Let's find out what marginal profit equals at different values of output, 10, 30, and 33. So at 10 units of output, we plug 10 into our marginal profit equation, and we see that marginal profit is $60. So producing the 10th unit increases profit by $60. The marginal profit of the 30th unit here is 0. Okay, So producing the 30th unit neither increases nor decreases total profit. And marginal profit at 33 units is going to be negative here, minus $9. So it means producing that last unit, in this case the 33, 33rd unit, reduce the firm's profit by $9. Where is profit maximized? Profit is maximized where marginal profit is zero. So setting our marginal profit equation equal to zero, we're going to solve for Q. So 100 minus 10 is 90, moving some things around, and the dividing through by 3, maximum of profit occurs at 30 units of output. Okay, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.